cones, show y'all we max loaded. Today, always a lovely when you got to deal with a city street here. I've got 10 of those oak chunks on there on the trailer. She's loaded. I'm sure about that. Get this last cone and we're gonna get rolling. I gotta get my wheel chocks out from underneath the uh the tires there. I gotta back up just a little bit to get them out. I just spin the mini around backwards and set the grapple there. She's good to go. So I finally got this all fixed up. I had a little time yesterday afternoon and I put the new switch in it. When I put the first switch in it, uh, something was wrong with the switch. It's a buyer switch and it just one side of it wouldn't work. It would uh, it would only go one way. It would not go the other way. So I ordered one, got in last week. I didn't have time to fool with it. And, but I did yesterday, swapped it out. All is good on it. I uh, trimmed the cover off a little bit where I could get it around right there to get it get it on the motor. All right, so another problem that I was having with this thing is on this two-speed gearbox. I've never opened one of these things up till yesterday, but it was not wanting to slide. It started off sliding when me and Daniel put it uh, put it together because we got it fixed to where I can go in high or low speed. I just got to pull the bolt out and slide it in, but it quit sliding. And these things are actually pretty simple. There's uh, not a lot to them, but it has one of those uh, uh, pin things in it. It's got a ball in it, kind of like a ratchet in a socket. I can't think of what they call now. But anyhow, the ball in it is made to where it kind of it kind of locks and holds it in place. And the ball had come out, and the spring had come out, and the spring was hanging inside here. It was a problem. Got the cover uh, off of it, and... Cleaned all the grease out of it, old grease. I had this trailer built in 2002, so I'd never opened it up or anything. Cleaned, pulled the gears out of it, cleaned it all up, uh, repacked it, and, uh, put uh, never seized inside where the, like where the extra um, gears run, where they go in, and fixed all that stuff up. Put it back together, and it just, it's as smooth as silk, runs like a top. So, it works well. You can see some never sees over here on this side. Uh, not really sure why I put a grease fitting there because it don't really, when you pump the grease in right there, it's not really getting on anything, uh, you know, the amount of nothing in there. It just kind of blobs up in there, but I got her all fixed up. But you can hear it. Here it goes. I'll run it right here. So that's taking the tongue up, and this is going down. It works, uh, it works really good. This is in low right here also, I've got it in low. You really, on a gooseneck or a heavy trailer, you really need a two-speed gearbox. It will work on high, but I'm not gonna run it on, on high right there. And if I ever need to use the handle, all I gotta do is just take the bolt out there and stick the handle back on it and i can use it like that but i've got my noco up there on the battery up there up top to give the battery some help because the battery that i've got up there is very old and and it's bad bad weak it's only running about 10 volts right now and and i put the noco on it and, and give it a little little boost but uh it wouldn't hurt if uh Put some bracing on this, come off up here and come straight down, put some bracing on that. But I think it's gonna be okay right now. What it is, you can see it moving just a little bit, but it's not gonna hurt anything like that. But uh, very happy with that. I've had a ton of people ask me about those motors right there. That is a 
a tarping motor, T-A-R-P-I-N-G, that you use on dump trucks. And you get them off Amazon, and I've got everything listed in my Amazon link uh, down below. Click the, in the description box. Click it right there. It'll take you to exactly what I bought, and you can easily find it. They come from over right over here in Slocum, Alabama. And, like, if you're in the southeast, you order it one day, you'll pretty much have it Have it the next. Very simple to... Uh, to wire up all you're doing is reversing the polarity on the motor it's like a starter type motor on it and then that's what the back of the switch looks like right there is that and then i got the battery sitting right up over our head very simple to to wire up and that just that made the value of my gooseneck go up a lot uh installing that and i've got that same motor installed on miss piggy the chipper over there so it's you go to run it it's just easy peasy man and, and of course the battery on miss piggy's sitting right there behind the jack so it was nothing to it to, to tap in it so what i'm gonna do is is get me a new um a marine uh deep cycle battery a, a 27 the biggest one i got put up there i'm also gonna put a uh 12 volt a uh, solar trickle charger up there. I'm gonna mount up there on the neck of it too. And of course, I can fix it to where it charges from the truck also uh, through the center pin on the seven way plug. I can do that too. But I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna do it the way I just said because that way it'll always guarantee me that I'm good to go when I get ready to hook up and, and unhook from it there. So, like I said, pretty happy with it uh this had a cork gasket in between here so of course it tore that cork gasket all to pieces and i just put some gasket sealer in there and screwed it back together but again works uh very nice it took us probably about an hour and a half to get all this stuff situated the bolts in it and all that stuff a little bracket made it may not even taken that long but it works well. I had to cut this plastic right here a little bit to get that long bolt enough room to uh, turn. But I wished I would have known about this and done this a long time ago because this is going to make my life a lot easier uh, here on this uh, on this thing. So if you don't have a NOCO, those things are bad as a bone. Let me get up here and see which one I got here. And I'll tell you which one it is. It's the 4,000 amp one. It's a beast. So this is it right here. It's the uh, GB150 4,000 amp. It's a stud, y'all. It'll it'll run the dump trailer with just this thing right here. It'll, it'll run it, dump it on uh, Dean and Ian's dump trailer when I've used it. This is what I've run that dump trailer with. And it, it, it'll it crank anything you want to put it on too. These things are unreal at what they'll do. You can get them off Amazon. Every now and then they, they have them marked down and that's how I got mine last September. Uh, I got it when they had them marked down a good bit. Nearly $100 off on this one here. And I have not regretted buying that thing it's as handy as that uh milwaukee compressor and you can find it in the uh in my amazon affiliate link down there too uh, you can pick it up through there right, we're going to talk about my dump trailer right now what's the status on it i've been wore out about questions about it ordered it back in the spring of uh, this year and initially they told me that uh the build date on it was going to be in May, kind of late May. And then uh, supposedly the axles got held up off the coast of uh, California out there because of COVID. It held them up on the ship for about a month. So that was going to push it back um, from the end of May to the end of June. Well, I talked to them uh, right there at the end of June. And... They said, I'm going to find it here. Ooh. Well, anyhow, I won't read that one because I can't find it right here right quick. But uh, um, toward the end of June, at the 1st of July, 
I sent an email about it and supposedly it was in the finishing department and they said that it was going to ship on the, on the next load out, which would have been, you know, um, July 1. And so I was kind of hoping to get it, you know, mid-July. And mid-July rolled around, about the 20th of July rolled around and I hadn't heard anything. So I, I uh, uh, called and I... I couldn't really get, um, nobody really knew anything there. It's like, it was like it just kind of vanished or something, you know, but so I was like, well, dang, well, maybe, uh, maybe I'll get it here just any day now. So anyhow, fast forward up to the end of July, last Thursday, uh, morning, I got an email and it says, uh, your dump trailer arrived yesterday afternoon. We have to do a PDI on it before I can come and get it. We're trying to work it into our shop with other scheduled repairs. It will be ready the first of this week. So, man, I was, I was pretty pumped up because I need that dump trailer, I mean, bad. Matter of fact, I bid a job specifically for the dump trailer it's a cleanup job that I've already piled this stuff up on. They were going to burn it, and then they decided that they were not going to burn it. And so I made a price on hauling everything off, and they accepted it and told me to come do it. So I, I need to don't try to. Of course, I also need to haul chips in, too. So anywho, <clears throat> I tried to call a couple of times today and i did not I was unsuccessful in talking to anybody so i sent an email and uh, uh got a response back and they had some more trailers come in today they were unloading them and the guy that does the pre-delivery stuff and the mechanic work says he was off friday and monday and he will be in tomorrow, which will be Tuesday while y'all are watching this video, and Wednesday, and then gone again Thursday and Friday. And I'm thinking, good God. So I, t I told the guy, too, in my previous email, I said, look, I said, here's what I can do. I said, if you're willing to meet me, you know, after hours, I said, I can come down there this afternoon, which is Monday or Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday afternoon, or Thursday I can be down, I can come get it mid morning because where i've got to go i got to go about 150 miles from where i live here to go pick it up and uh so he said that uh, their goal is uh to get all their soul trailers ready to be picked up and he said he could stay late tomorrow which will be tuesday when y'all are watching this as Allie and i used to say time traveling youtube is is tough but uh he says uh, he can stay late on Tuesday, uh, you know, assuming there are no issues with the trailer, and I could pick it up at the end of the day, uh, Tuesday afternoon. So let's keep our fingers crossed while y'all are watching this video that I get an email from them saying I can go get it, and I'm going to make a school night run to go get this dump trailer, and then I'll have it. And I'll show y'all some sneak peeks of it once I get it, but... I'm not going to show the whole trailer because I got some stuff that I want to do to it first before y'all see it. And y'all are going to see a little bit of it, but not, not all of it. And Because uh, I'm going to have it fully, fully lettered out. And I want it to be completely done by the time that I, that I present it on YouTube and, and, and let y'all see it. But trust me, this is going to be epic beyond epic as far as a dump trailer goes because... Uh, this thing is going to be a stud here, uh, and it's um, it's it's rigged out because I, I don't do nothing, you know, halfway. Anybody's been watching my stuff for a while knows that. So, like I said again, let's keep our fingers crossed on that, and hopefully, uh, I will uh, I'll get it and have it, and I'll give y'all a little sneak peek on it a little bit and kind of see it just a little bit and. And then we'll kind of go from there. Uh, still not telling where I'm getting it from and who who built it. Uh, that will be, uh, y'all will see that once I show all the lettering on it. So anywho, uh, and 
I've had people asking about uh, some more Miss Piggy clips. Don't worry, you're fixing a bunch of them because I did a bunch of chipping the other week uh, with Miss Piggy. Chipped up a, a a bunch of stuff, so that's that's coming. But uh, if you hadn't seen the video with Cranky in it that I did this past uh, Sunday, that posted published this past Sunday, uh, taking down a Widowmaker tree, back back up to August the first and watch that video. Trust me, it'll be worth your time to sit there and watch that video. So. Appreciate y'all tuning in and watching. We'll catch y'all later. Oh, you need some tree work? My email is right down below. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.